I mean, if this is real, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm kind of starting to suspect this is all fucked. I am starting to suspect that this is all a ruse. And that James O'Keefe might not actually be this much of an asshole. Now, again, I think that James O'Keefe has a very dominating personality. I think that James O'Keefe is like he has a smarmy energy. I don't say that with any disrespect. It's just how I perceive him. But that doesn't mean he's doing some of the things that they're alleging that he's doing, right? Like the things that they're alleging that he's doing are kind of like next level asshole. And so the reason I say this is this. If Project Veritas, just go with me for a second. If Project Veritas, executives at Project Veritas, one third of the staff at Project Veritas, all hated James O'Keefe and all wanted to get him out, a third of the company, you're telling me that between a third of the company, not a single one of them can get James O'Keefe on video yelling at them, stealing sandwiches from people, making them take lie detectors. Not a single one of them can leak an email showing that they were demanded to take lie detector tests or go back to New York for being under investigation. You're telling me that one third of Project Veritas, which is the organization that is best known for filming and documenting things undercover where they all know how to use this technology. They all have the things, the little fucking hidden cameras or whatever the hell. They all have the technology to do it. They all know how to do it. They know how to, they know how to do these types of operations. One third of the company. And there is not one single piece of solitary evidence that they could procure between one third of the company. I don't doubt that James O'Keefe is an asshole. But is he enough of an asshole to merit this? And do they have any evidence to back up the more egregious claims that they're making about him? No video, no email, no photo, no hidden camera, no nothing. And no one thought that would be a good idea if they were going to try to oust the head of Project Veritas by saying that he was spitting in people's faces and yelling at people and stealing sandwiches from pregnant people and and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No one thought it would be a good idea to get something on video as some sort of evidence. One third of Project Veritas. Okay. Sure. That sounds, I guess, possible. But of all organizations in the world, this is the organization that knows how to get things on camera. And they couldn't fool James O'Keefe once? I don't buy it. 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 James O'Keefe can simultaneously be an asshole and also not guilty of the things in this article. Those two things are true. And when you're talking about employees that were fired, James O'Keefe got pissed off at two of his executives. We don't know why he was pissed off at the executives, but chances were it wasn't just one thing that pissed him off. There was probably a series of things that pissed him off, and maybe they were staging a coup against him. Maybe maybe James O'Keefe fired them because he got wind that they were staging a fucking coup. So it could be entirely possible that they had been planning this coup for weeks. James O'Keefe found out about the coup. James Lindsay, James O'Keefe, you know which James I'm talking about. James O'Keefe. I think I might have just said James Lindsay. I started to come out. I don't know. You know which James I'm talking about. James O'Keefe gets wind of this coup fires these employees, then they go on to stage the coup so they can get their jobs back, and there is no evidence that any of what James O'Keefe did actually happened. He's an asshole, but I don't buy that he did the things in this article. 
I think this was a revenge campaign by two of his executives that he probably was a dick to on many, many, many occasions. They got tired of putting up with his shit. And by the way, probably couldn't blame him. Again, I do believe that James Lins or James, cut fucking damn it. James O'Keefe, the other James. I do believe that James O'Keefe is probably a hard ass to work with. So these people probably had good reason to be pissed off at him and had enough. But staging a coup is not the correct answer in that situation. Staging a fucking coup is not the answer to not liking your boss. You know what the answer to not liking your boss is? Leave the organization and go get another job. Someone as important as James O'Keefe? I'm sorry. You put on your big boy pants, you suck it up, you know how important James O'Keefe is to the movement, and if you really can't take working for him, quit and go somewhere else. This should not be that hard. 